and everybody in that group is gonna get reported. Been there, done that. Do not be in any groups. back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is sonye and i am a second semester nursing student this video as you can tell by the title is going to be just a few do's and don'ts of nursing school um whether you're entering into your first semester of nursing school or you're already in nursing school it's going to be beneficial regardless um so i have four do's and four don'ts that i wanted to share with you guys before we get into the video i just want to give you guys a quick shout out for being here thank you guys so much for your support um i love y'all okay let's get into the video so the first do is clinical do participate as much as you can in clinical um your nurse that you're going to be with they know you're a student but like they have six patients seven patients most of the time um they're not really i guess worried about other things you could be doing with them um because they're just trying to care for every patient so what i recommend for you to do is tell your nurse to like be on the lookout for you to do a foley or for you to do a dressing change or you know like for me last week um in clinical i asked my nurse i was like can you please be on the lookout for any iv piggybacks because i hadn't done one yet um and be on the lookout for an iv start um like an insertion because most of the time they already come to the floor with their ivs in but so I didn't get an IV start, but I did get to do an IV piggyback. So, um, and my nurse was on the lookout for me. Like you tell your nurse that you're interested to do with whatever that you need to do. They're going to be on the lookout, but they don't know unless you tell them. So use your words. And even if that's not your patient or if that's not even the nurse that you're with, you can still go talk to other nurses like, hey, can you just be on the lookout for if your patient has this or they need this? Even talk to the charge nurse, like, because most of the time they know what's going on with all of the patients, so they can keep an eye out for you. Um, so, yes, please be as active as you can in clinical because that is where you're going to get your, like, nursing experience. And that's what makes it more fun. Like, you're seeing the things that are in the textbook be put to use. The next do that I have is please do practice questions. Y'all, I cannot emphasize this enough. Um, My first semester, I was like, okay, practice questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I was in foundations and assessment and like they help kinda, but I'm in med surge now. Those practice questions, more than likely you will see those on your exam. Um, I recommend getting Saunders. You can even find the free online version, um, like the PDF and it's the eighth edition. I also have it um, if you wanna DM me on Instagram and I can send it to you um, because I want y'all to win too. But I recommend doing practice questions. If your textbook has practice questions, like at the end of the chapters, like how mine does, do all of them um because professors like to use practice questions that are in the book um because they're most of the time they're in click style also whatever book that you are reading for whatever class like for med surge um type that title into google and put test bank after because it's going to more than likely bring up a test bank that um the makers from the book created and sometimes the instructors use some of the questions in the in that uh, test bank or they like reword it but it's still like the same gist yeah i'm telling you do them practice questions because they will help like and i've already seen them help a lot on my past two exams so do those practice questions next do is take time for yourself throughout the week 
you don't have to be studying 24 7 24 hours a day seven days a week like no i don't even do that like i study a good amount but i definitely don't study every day and i don't study all day so i think it's important to to get some self-care whether that's going out to eat or taking a nap because that's what i love to do or just sitting at your computer or at your tv and watching netflix like or being on instagram tiktok whatever you need to do give yourself a break i know it's a lot of information you're trying to get it all down for the next exam but you'll feel so much better if you have like if you just give yourself some grace and take that break and then you're like refreshed like that's my favorite thing to do take a nap and i'm like oh when i get up I'm going to have energy, like I get to eat and then do my assignment and study and da 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 I'm telling you, I maybe take, well, now I've been kind of busy lately, but I try to take a nap at least like two, three times a week. And that's, that's not a lot, but, you know, but I'm also not studying all the time. So take some self-care days, y'all. And even if it's a whole day, I do that. I'll take maybe like throughout the week, I might do one or two days where I'm not really doing any studying. I might like be trying to catch up on assignments. But yes, do take some time for yourself away from nursing. It's it's a lot. It's overwhelming. But we got this. The next do, and actually it's the last one, find, and this will probably be in your first semester like pre-nursing or whatever but find friends that you trust they're smart and i don't want to just say they're smart but like you guys are on like a mutual level to where like you guys can help each other study for exams review and quiz each other um and like do study groups and stuff i don't really do study groups but i do have a few friends that i've been like friends with in the nurse program since prereqs um and i'm telling you it makes a difference because you guys you have someone that you can relate with because they're in the nursing program with you and most of the time they're going through the same things you are so it just helps to have somebody aside from like studying with and you know but just to be able to relate to them and you know i don't know i think it helps find some friends you need at least one solid one solid friend i'm telling you they're gonna come and clutch and normally y'all are good like through the whole program so whether that be somebody in your clinical group I recommend it 10 out of 10 okay so that is all of my do's now i have four don'ts first don't do not wait until the last minute to study y'all please don't wait until the last minute and by last minute i mean like your exam is monday and you start studying on sunday no even studying starting friday and your exam is monday no like that those three days especially like for your heavy classes like foundations or med surge most of the time you have a lot of chapters in one exam so you do not want to delay your study um and i don't want to say start studying two weeks in advance i normally do the week before the exam um well like the weekend before the week before the exam if that makes sense so kind of like a 10 day period and that's not even really me studying that's just me digesting the material getting my first glance over all of the chapters and stuff like that um don't wait till the last minute y'all is no don't do it um uh, i kind of did it on my first med surge exam i still passed but i was like i definitely could have started studying like three four days ahead than i did and probably would have done better but yes please do not wait till the last minute to study next don't do not compare yourself to others do not compare yourself to anybody in your clinical group any one of your trusted friends that i mentioned earlier everyone is on their own 
road to success. Not everyone is, you know, like on the same level, if that makes sense. Like your friend gets a 98 on the exam and you just got a 75 and you're like, dang, like, am I dumb or, you know, like, or are they smarter than me or are they better than me? Like, don't even do that. They probably spent the extra time to study than you did and that is okay. Now you know next time you need to study more. Comparing yourself does nothing but upset. Um, so I don't recommend it. Um, as far as like sharing like exam grades and stuff, I, I'm i not in any group chats or anything. Um, also do not, don't be in any group chats. That's like a side, don't, do not because somebody's gonna say something that messes up the group as far as like talking about exams or quizzes or assignments that are graded and you're supposed to do them on your own. And everybody in that group is going to get reported. Been there, done that. Do not be in any groups. Unless it's like your clinical group. And that's it. I forgot what I was saying. Yes. Okay. So don't compare yourself to others um, because it's not really like beneficial. Um, what I was saying was as far as comparing like exam grades, like I have like three friends that all maybe like we ex like exchange how we did on the exams and stuff. Um, as far as our grades and that's that like we congratulate each other and we're like yay like that's over that type of thing but not it's never a oh my god they did so much better like it's not it's never that because it's unnecessary so just don't do it don't compare yourself and the next don't which it leads me the last one leads me into this one don't beat yourself up over one grade y'all nursing school is hard Give yourself a little wiggle room. You don't have much because I know a lot of the times programs, you have to have like a certain exam average before you can pass the class, even if you do so well on your other assignments. But if it's like one, ex like you thought you were going to get an A, but you made a 78 and you still passed because I know passing scores range from schools, but you passed like... Pat yourself on the back, review your exam if that's an option, and move on. Like, it is okay. Like, and if you fail an exam, review it, see what you did wrong, see what you need to do next time to do better. And that's that. Like, you already took the exam. You already, if you didn't do as good as you hoped, like, it already happened. Like, there's nothing else you can do about it. So, don't cry over spilled milk you are a nursing student you are in the program um if you are on the verge of failing like that is different i recommend to meet with the professor and see what you need to do um sorry like they're being super loud in my hallway but meet with the professor and see like hey how can i improve on my next exam. Hopefully they allow you to review your exam because my professors do. And it helps because you can kind of see like how you answer questions and how you should probably answer them next time. Um, so yeah, don't beat yourself up. Like it is okay, but definitely seek help if you're like on that verge or if you have the option, talk to your advisor. If you need to drop the class, that is okay. Like most of the time, like for my program, you can drop, I think, two classes at the very most um, in the program, I think. And don't even quote me on that, but they let you do that and you're, you're still in the program. You just would, you can't advance to the next level, I guess, until you take that class. And that's fine. You're still in the program. Like, again, nursing school is hard, but you made it to nursing school. You can do it. I believe in you if no one else ever told you so the last don't y'all please don't use no flashcards to study for nursing exams don't even do it um just don't do it nursing is not memorization like it's critical thinking and applying and if you're going to use flashcards like quizlet or something you really can only use them for like 
lab values and stuff but even with those lab values like decreased potassium you have to know signs and symptoms of hypokalemia like that's just some of the stuff is memorization so it's like okay i can do some flashcards but as far as what are you gonna do when you walk to this patient's room who has chf and they have orthopnea like you can't put that on a flashcard if that makes sense so if that's like your study method that you use for like pre-nursing and amp and micro and stuff like that it's not really gonna work well in nursing school because of how the because of how complex it is so i don't recommend using quizlets to learn like at least to learn the information don't use like flashcards i don't i don't recommend um that's just my opinion again if it works for you then it works for you but generally i don't recommend it um but i'm just a second semester nursing student what do i know um but i don't use flashcards so but yeah so that was my last don't um i hope you all found these do's and don'ts very helpful um so yes, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and turn my bells on so that you know when I post my next video. I'm trying to be more active, y'all. Like, y'all see like the time in between my videos? I'm, I'm trying. Um, but yes, that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.